Hello and welcome to another video. Now tonight I'm going to take a look at this film here which is called The Women. And it stars Meg Ryan and a whole host of other famous female actresses. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this film um, doesn't contain any men whatsoever. There's not a single man in the whole film. It's only women throughout the whole film, so only female actresses appear in this film. There's no men whatsoever, not a single one. Um, I'm not sure who directed, I can't remember who directed the film, and I can't see in this lighting um, who actually directed it. I don't know if it was a man or a woman that directed it. it might have been a man, I'm not sure. But um, it's a, it's a good film. I like it quite a bit. It gets a few bad reviews here and there. I think on Blu-ray.com they didn't give it much of a rating at all, to be honest. They uh, didn't really think much of it, I don't think. But it's um, it's an interesting watch. If you like Meg Ryan, and uh, who else is in it again? Um, God. Annette Benning's in it. Can't see a thing in this light, and yeah, the light is really bad where I am, where I'm sit situated. Um, I'm trying to think of a name now. Anyway, you can see them on the front here. That's some of the ones, the main actresses that's in the film. If you recognise them, you'll know who, who are, uh, who they are. And this is a U.S. import Blu-ray. And it's got a slip cover. I've actually got the UK version of this as well on Blu-ray. Let's see there's the it's got the same picture, exact picture underneath. So anyway, that was just a brief look at this film, and the picture quality is very good on this Blu-ray and the sound. It's in uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, I believe. And it's in 185 aspect ratio anamorphic widescreen. And uh, Blu-ray.com didn't think much of the picture quality on this either. I think they said the black levels weren't very good. And something to do with the contrast or the colour or something wasn't very really great either. But I, I didn't have a problem with it. I thought it looked really good, you know. It looked nice on, um, on the cinema screen and stuff and on the TV. So, um, so that's a brief look at The Women. Starring Meg Ryan and a whole host of other female actresses. Now it's time to take a look at some of my multi-feature uh, DVDs that have four film, films on each each um, set. The first one is this one which contains the film Kissing a Fool and Heart and, Heart and Souls, The Matchmaker and playing for keeps. Now the only one of these I've watched so far is Kissing the Fool. I used to have it on D DVD by itself on a single, on its own disc. Um, so that's the only one I've watched out of these. But I have seen Matchmaker before. It's a very good romantic comedy film with Dennis Leary. And uh, I forgot her name offhand. Uh, I haven't seen playing for keeps. I've seen Heart and Souls before, but not on this DVD version. I know Kissing the Fool is anamorphic widescreen, but I'm not sure about the rest. I don't think Matchmaker is. Yes, it's the trouble with some of these um, four film movie marathon titles. Um, some of them have got uh, non-anamorphic transfers, so they're not anamorphic widescreen. Some of them are and some of them aren't. And that, um, there's two uh, discs inside each uh, case, so there's two films per disc. So that's the first one. Next one I've got here uh, is another one with a load of uh, comedy films on. This one contains Pure Look with Martin Short and Danny Glover. Uh, Kim King Ralph with John Goodman. Ghost Dad with Bill Cosby. And For Richer and Opura with uh, Tim Allen and Kirstie Alley. Um, I 
haven't watched any of these yet to be honest i've had them a while it's about time i got got me uh got um you know watching them basically so that's that one next one here contains about a boy starring hugh grant prime with meryl streep and uma thurman the wedding date with um I think it's uh, Dermot Mulrooney and Deborah Messing, I think. I might be wrong on that one, but I think that's who's in it. And Intolerable Cruelly, which I've also got on Blu-ray. I'm not the biggest fan of that film, Intolerable Intol Cruelty, but I do like the actors in it. But I found it very hard to get into properly. Some good scenes in it, but overall I didn't get into it as well as I should have, if you know what I mean. And the back covers on these um, DVDs have just got four pictures, one from each movie, and, uh, and a brief sort of cast thing. Hard, very hard to read unless you've got a magnifying glass. Oh yeah, glasses on. So that's that one. Next one contains Dudley Do Right, Sergeant. B oh, I forgot to say who's in Dudley Do Right. It's Brendan Fraser. And Sarah Jessica Parker and Sergeant Bilko starring Steve Martin and Dan Aykroyd and then we've got Cop and a Half with Burt Reynolds the late great Burt Reynolds and then we've got a film called Ed I've seen Sergeant Bilko but not on this set I've only seen it on VHS I think or oh, I might have seen it on Laserdisc actually I haven't watched Dudley Do Right yet and I haven't seen Cop and a Half or Ed or The Ed or whatever it's called I think it's just Ed. And the back cover of this one is just the same as the other one with one scene from each film. And then I've got one more here. I've got some more elsewhere like right, on my shelves. This one contains Cross uh, Cross My Heart with Martin Short and Annette O'Toole and Fierce Creatures. Fierce Creatures is non-anamorphic and the transfer is bloody atrocious, I can tell you. And it also contains Opportunity Knox with Dana Carvey. That's on, you can get that on Blu-ray now from the States on the um, Mill Creek label. The retro VHS cover. And it also contains Splitting Hairs. And that's a good one with uh, Catherine Gita Jones and Rick Moranis. And I think uh, Eric Idle's in there as well. You can just see him on the end there. Just a closer look. And uh, I particularly like um, Cross My Heart quite a bit. I watched that one on here. I haven't watched many of these to be honest. I uh, need to get watching them. Um, but not if they're non-anamorphic. They'll look up bloody atrocious on my cinema screen. That's for sure. Definitely. That's the back cover with uh, once again just one scene from each film. So that's those ones. Right now I've also got these ones. Uh, this is the four film favourites collection on Warner Brothers label from America on Region 1 DVD and all these films are on their own separate disc and they're like stacked up inside the uh, in the case you've got to lift one or two discs off to get to the other disc underneath and this one contains one of my favorite films of all time which is Deadly Friend starring um, uh, Christy Swanson couldn't rem remember her name for a second there Christy Swanson, directed by the, the late, great Wes Craven. If you don't know who Wes Craven is, he, he's f most famous for directing the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street films. He was also a doctor, I believe, as well. And uh, it also contains Eyes of a Stranger. Um, Someone's Watching Me, which was uh, directed by John Carpenter, I believe. And The Hand starring Michael Caine which was directed by Oliver Stone believe it or not 
So that's four very good films in this set. And the back cover has some nice pictures from each film at the top there. Um, Deadly Friends got a great music score as well by uh, Charles Bernstein, I think it was by. And I had the uh, original film soundtrack on LP record import. Um, that's all right with me, uh, mother, mother's house. I still in the uh, LP record collection. I had lots of soundtracks on LP as well as CD, but I had most of them on LP. So that's that one. The next one is another four film favorites uh, collection. And this one is uh, all comedy movies. Uh, the first one is a remake of um, Neil Simon's The Goodbye Girl. This one stars Jeff Daniels and Patricia Heaton. I'm not sure who she is, but I know um, Jeff Daniels well, of course. And the next one is Forget Paris with uh, Billy Crystal and Deborah Winger. That's a very good movie. I saw that one a long time ago. I think I had it on Laserdisc. Pal Laser Laserdisc, I think. I think I did anyway. It's strange how you forget, isn't it? Anyway, um, the next one is Her Alibi with Tom Selleck. Which is another very good film. I was just a bit disappointed that this DVD version is just the uh, same old full screen uh, transfer that you used to be able to get get on its own disc and its own case. So they haven't updated to an anamorphic widescreen transfer, which is very disappointing in my opinion. And the next one is Best Friends with uh, Burt Reynolds and Goldie Horn, another great movie. Very good film. So there's four great comedies in this set. And you can still get all these um, DVDs, I believe, online. Most of them are uh, not, not too expensive, I don't think. I mean, they're not like dirt cheap or anything, but they're not like ludicrous prices when they go out of print type prices, I don't think. Last time I checked, anyway. And here's the back with some nice pictures from each, uh, from each film. So that's those two then. And he has another good set with three Madonna movies in it. Uh, this consists of uh, In Bed with, with Madonna, which in, the, in America this is called Madonna Truth or Day. So it had a different title in, the, in America. It also contains Desperately Seeking Susan with Rosanna Arquette and uh, Body of Evidence as well. All um, good films starring Madonna. If you like Madonna, this is a good set to get. You can actually get uh, you can actually get in bed with Madonna on Blu-ray, I believe, under the title Truth or Dare, I think. Last time I checked, it was a while ago when, when I checked, but... Um, it's a good one to get a hold of. It's a good documentary, and Kevin Costner appears briefly in the film as well. And these are on the, um, I believe these are on the MGM label. Um, so it's a good set to get. You can, you can get this set pretty cheap online, if you look around a bit, on Amazon or eBay. So it's worth getting a hold of if you like these three films, or even if you just like two of them. It's worth getting a hold of. Now this film here, which is called um, Darker Shades of Elise, Elise or Elise, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. You, you can pro probably tell that this film is uh, like a, a cash-in on the um, Fifty Shades of Grey movies. Um, you know, you can tell by the title, Darker Shades of Elise, I mean the They've pretty much copied the uh, titles from those other movies. Uh, I've yet, still yet to watch this film, so I can't really tell you what it's like. But um, uh, if I get around to watching it, I'll, I'll try and do a review on it at some point, I should imagine. And uh, let you all know what I, what I thought of it. Uh, I did read some reviews online, and most of the reviews said it wasn't very good, like unfortunately but um I'll, I'll make me own wind mind up wind up i'll make me own mind up when i watch it 
at some point and he has another pretty good set with three popular Jim Carrey movies uh, this one contains Fun with Dick and Jane which is a remake of a Jane Fonda um, what's the other guy's name again I can't think of the other guy's name anyway it's a remake of the original Fun with Dick and Jane with uh, Jane Fonda and it's also got the cable guy and and Laya Laya three very good films the cable guy you can actually get on blu-ray but it's becoming in quite short supply I think I'm gonna get the lighting quite right here for some reason but um it's um the cable guy is a very good film which was actually directed by the actor Ben Stiller, if you didn't know that. Yes, Ben Stiller directed The Cable Guy. It was made in 1996. And Fun with Dick and Jane is also a very uh, good, funny movie. I think it's a good remake. I've seen the original as well. I think it holds up quite well with the original. It's quite different to the original, I would say. And Liar Liar obviously is a very, very hilarious film. Lots of. Um, good funny um, scenes with lots of like really uh, over the top sort of comedy and stuff from Jim Carrey in that one I remember the scene where he was crushing his trying to squash his head underneath the toilet seat or something something like that I forget now the bit where he farts in the elevator and he tells everyone it was him because he can't lie that was funny as well and Jennifer, Jennifer Tilly also features in Liar Liar as well so if you're a fan of Jennifer Tilly and you haven't seen Liar Liar it's a good one to get a hold of because she's in it quite a bit and she has short blonde hair in the film as well so she looks a bit different to what she usually looks like with her dark hair so that's that one in the back cover whoops the back cover has just got a small picture of each DVD cover on the back with a brief synopsis for each film Now this one here, which is Return, Return to the Blue Lagoon, is another favourite of mine. I've always liked this film since I uh, originally owned it on VHS. I used to have the uh, X rental copy. And this one's becoming hard to get on DVD now. I'm not sure if it's out of print, but you can't get it that cheap now online. So if you do want a copy of this film, I would try and search for it as soon as you can because the price will go way 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 up when it goes fully out of print if it hasn't already so um, it's a good good sequel to the original actually I actually prefer this film to the original one the original one of course starred uh, Brooke Shields and um, Christopher something or other I forgot what his name was is but um, this one stars um, Mila Jovovich and uh, the other guy, guy's name, the guy that was in um, Sleepwalkers, Brian Krause, is the, is the other guy that's uh, stuck on the island with her. And it's a really good film. Um, the acting's very good. Well, I think it is anyway. And it's a good story. Like I say, it's a really good sequel to the original. I think it holds up well against the original. And this is on the Columbia, Columbia TriStar label. And it's an anamorphic 185 to 1 widescreen ratio. But I think it's just got Dolby digital surround, two channel surround sound. It hasn't got the 5.1 channel sound. But it's still really good nevertheless. So that's uh, Return to the Blue Lagoon. And here's another really good movie. This one came out not that long ago. Um, I did put it on Blu-ray, but the Blu-ray was quite expensive, so I saw it cheap in Asda, or like £5, so I thought I'd pick it up on DVD instead for the minute. And this one stars uh, Amanda Stenberg and Nick Robins Robinson, yeah, that's right. And it's called Everything, Everything. And this one's about a girl who has a um, rare disease where she can't go outside 
if she goes outside it could kill her so she has to stay indoors under um sort of um special sort of um conditions and stuff and she meets this guy um i think it's our next door neighbor he lives in the street or somewhere and she sort of is attracted to him and he, he's attracted to her in the form of some sort of sort of relationship mainly through glass i think he does come and visit her in the house as well uh during several scenes throughout the movie but it's a really good uh uh fun movie to watch well it, I say fun, it's not fun that she's suffering from a disease or anything, but there's some fun in the film and stuff. You, you'll see what I mean if you watch it. So it's a really good uh, movie. That's everything, everything. Right, so that's it for now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you may have noticed that um, aspect ratio is different on some of this video. That is because I'm using my other phone camera instead of the uh, other one. The other one's busy encoding something at the minute, uh, uploading something. I'm trying to upload something, that's the correct way to describe it. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this short video, just a little video for now. And uh, if you've liked it, could you please give us a little thumbs up, little thumbs up in the corner. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And if you've got anything you'd like to ask us, leave us a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well if you do subscribe so you are updated when I upload a new video each time. So, uh, and, and you can share this video if you want, any way you like. Don't mind. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. So bye for now.